Hey guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another tag video. Today I'm really excited because I'm finally doing the 54321 book tag. I've seen this going around on YouTube. Again, it kind of like picked up um, some momentum again not too long ago. And then I've seen it kind of popping up on Instagram again. And I thought, well, let's just throw my hat in the ring and talk about some of my favorite books and things and authors and all this stuff. So I am really excited. I briefly looked over the five little questions, um, five little prompts, but only one of them I have like a solid answer for because I got the book so that I could talk about them. So without further ado, let's just get started. So five, five books you love. Before I Called You Mine by Nicole Dees. Um, this book blew me out of the water. I'm sure you've heard me talk about it, squeal about it. I talk about it all the time now. Uh, Joshua Avery is everything. And I don't know why it took me so long to read this book, but now that I have, I'm obsessed. And I can't wait to read my other books by Nicole because she is top-notch author. Next, I have Malicious Intent by Lynn H. Blackburn. This is book two in her Defend and Protect series. This is Gil and Ivy's story. And love it it's my absolute favorite of the series I absolutely love these two characters and it was so sweet and probably one of the best second chance romances that I have read because second chance romance isn't always my favorite trope so so good um this book right here later on will conspire by Courtney Kiesel I'm kind of feeling like a reread this Christmas, even though I have a ton of Christmas books on my TBR and a couple authors who wrote in this series last year announced that they're doing another rom-com Christmas series, but I might have to make time to reread this book. It was fantastic. This is the start, the, at least that I saw, of like genre twisting inside the rom-com vibe so it is a adventure rom-com spy novel and that's all I'm gonna say about it if you haven't read it please add it to the top of your TBR read it this Christmas it's so good it is not Christian fiction but it is clean next is a book that I don't know if I ever talked about with you guys and I don't know why because this book lives rent free in my head okay <laughs> On Wings of Devotion by Rosanna M. White. This is book two in the Codebreaker series. Oh. No one compares to Sir Philip Camden. Mm. What a book, boyfriend. Uh -huh. Did I say sir? I meant major. He's a major. I'm sorry. He's in the Air Force. Right? I think so. Something like that. Uh. Regardless. No one compares to this man. Mm, I love it. I mean, it's a good book otherwise, too, but he just made it top notch, you know? And the last book of number five is A Match in the Making by Jen Toronto. This is book one in her new series, The Matchmakers. And, oh man, this book. It just gave me all the feels, all the little giggles, all the. Ooh. Honestly, anytime I hear anybody talk about it or even read the synopsis, I've got the feelings again, and I just absolutely love that. So I wanted to talk about books that I normally don't talk about, and so those are five books that I absolutely love. Four auto buy authors. Ooh, okay, this I didn't like prepare. Um, again, I'm gonna try to go with some ones that I don't normally talk about. I have so many, that's the problem. Um, let's see. And it's hard because I'll auto buy an author even if I've only read one book that I like of them, or even if I just know them and like them as a person, I have a bunch of their books even if I haven't read them. So give me a sec. Give me a second, okay? Um, ooh. Sarah Ella, auto buy, 100%. I love her books. I love her too, so that definitely helps. Um, but I love her fantasy books. She's super talented. 
Um, who else? Uh, Natalie Walters. She is fabulous. Definitely an auto buy author for me. Suspense. Um, anything by Belle Renshaw or Emily Haney. She's a fantastic author. Absolutely love her stuff. And then... Let's throw a rom-com author in there. Um, Anna Conwell is probably going to be a new one for me. She's absolutely amazing. Such a great author. Next is three favorite genres. Okay, 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 okay. Historical romance, romantic comedy, and probably some good fantasy. Not high fantasy, but like fantasy type stuff. Maybe. Yeah, we'll go with it. Though, I mean, suspense is a thing too, and that's top notch for me, but we'll go with those. We'll go with those. Yeah. Uh, two places you read. So I typically read in my bed, um, laying down, twisting, turning, sitting up, leaning against my headboard, Splot, like sprawled across it. I'm I'm one of those readers who like flips and flops all over the place. And then I also read in my living room, either on my reading chair or on the couch. Same thing, either sitting or sprawled across. And the last one is one book you promise to read soon. How do I boil this down to just one? Hmm. Let's see. Again, I want it to be a book that. I don't talk about much. I'm gonna say Yours is the Night by Amanda Dykes because I haven't read that one yet. Absolutely love Amanda. She's definitely another autobi author um, but I just haven't I haven't read her last few releases so probably that one. I promise. At some point I'll read it. <laughs> So those are my answers to the five, four, three, two, one, tag. That was a lot harder than I thought it was, my goodness. Um, I had a lot of fun getting my answers together. Let me know in the comments below what your answers would be to this tag. If you've done it, please leave the link. Let me see. I want to watch the video. Um, if you haven't done it, please, by all means, do the video. And then let me know that you've done it so I can watch it. I think it's fun getting to know people's favorites and just a little bit more about them in their reading. So. Don't forget you can check out my blog at fortheloveofchristianfiction.blogspot.com. You can check out my Instagram at fortheloveofchristianfiction. And all my links are in the description box below. I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!